Hello students, today I am going to explain how to conduct an experiment on finding out the post of discharge of a rectangular notch. Followed by the experiment we also have what is called as the post of discharge of a triangular notch. These two notches, rectangular and triangular notches are similar in that they are used to measure the flow rates in open channels. Open channels are quite off, quite common in uh, real world applications where we need to measure the flow rate across a large body of water like a river, a river or a flowing stream in which case we cannot use the orifice or the mouthpiece or the windshield unit. Orifice and mouthpieces are used for internal flows. The rectangular notch and triangular notch are used for external flows. Now notches are different from weirs in that notches are metallic components and are small in size and are used for smaller flow rates. Weirs are large components made out of concrete and are used for measuring the flow rates across huge water bodies like dams. Now coming to the construction of this particular uh, setup, we have a sum, a balancing tank and a collecting tank. Just like, like we had for orifice and mouthpiece apparatus. Also in the, connected to the sum is a pump. It's connected with the help of a suction pipe and on the other side there is a discharge pipe which will pump water into the balancing tank. To the collection tank, there is a piezometer attached and next to the piezometer you can find out, find a scale attached so that you can view the level of water inside the tank and also read the height in the, in the centimeter scale or in scale, whichever is coming. Now inside the balancing tank, we have what is called as a rectangular notch. So this structure, this structure is known as a rectangular notch just because of its shape, its rectangular in shape. So you need to measure the dimensions of this and also you have a scale attached to which there is a pointer using which you can find out what is the level of water at which the flow is taking place. So this rectangular notch is allowing part of water to flow over itself and using that con that uh, concept we will be finding out what is the coefficient of discharge of this rectangular notch. Using the coefficient of discharge we can actually calculate what is the flow rate if this rectangular notch is used to measure the flow rates in actual situations. Now to carry out this experiment we need to switch on the pump because we switch on the pump what starts collecting in this balancing tank. And once the water level rises to the level of the sill of the rectangular notch, sill is the bottommost point of the rectangular notch, at that level we will measure the level of water, that means the level of the sill using this particular scale and this hook gauge. Now after that we will increase the amount of flow rate to a certain height so that the water actually starts flowing over the sill. The height of <coughs> flow over the sill is again measured with the help of this, uh, with the help of this pointer and scale. And using that particular height and the formula, you will be and, and this scale using the height and the formula, you will be actually calculating the uh, coefficient of discharge of this particular rectangular notch. So in this also we have a collection tank using which we will be able to find out what is the amount of water that is collected for a certain amount of time. So let us say you are trying to collect water for a height of 5 centimeters. So you will find out what is the time taken to collect water for 5 centimeters and based on this dimensions of this tank and the height you will be able to find out what is the volumetric flow rate of water into this tank. So this volumetric flow rate is the actual flow rate and the volumetric flow rate which you calculated using the measurements of the rectangular notch and the heights of water that is flowing, you will get what is called as the coefficient of discharge by the ratio of these two quantities. Now that is the first reading. To get another reading, what you need to do is to increase the height by which the water is flowing over the notch. To increase the height or to change the height, you need to open up this particular discharge valve a little more so that more water flows. Once the water stabilizes, you note down what is the height of water that has collected, that has that is flowing over the rectangular notch and using that height and the dimensions of the rectangular notch, you can calculate the theoretical discharge 
by measuring the amount of water collected in a certain amount of time in this tank you will be finding out what is the actual discharge and the ratio of these two will give you the coefficient of discharge so that's the experimental part of this experiment, experiment of rectangular notch